All right, so I'm a heavy guy, between 90 and 100 kilograms. I skateboard a lot and I buy all my own gear. I do a lot of slappy grinds on curbs and I go through trucks really fast. For about 15 years, I only rode indies. I'd grind pairs down to the axle until they broke or bent and then get another pair, but I decided to change it up a little bit. So I rode a pair of titanium axle indies, then two pairs of Ace Classics, and then a set of Ace AF1s, and I put them through all the usual punishment. All right, so this is what was left of the titanium axle indies after skating them for about a year or so. They did break. So these trucks were sick. They've got all the advantages of an indie. They, they grind good, they turn good, probably preaching to the choir here, but uh, that axle just hung in there for the longest time. Like that's all axle from Crooks and then all axle from like 5050s and 50s. I got really far through that, way more than I would for a steel axle before it snapped. They didn't bend before they snapped either. Like this thing stayed straight. Um, first titanium axle truck I've ever ridden. What was interesting about it though, is that I found that when I got down to the axle, that titanium is so dense that it was catching on things. It was making a lot of sparks. It was kind of cool, but I fucked up the coping on my friend's mini ramp by like sort of cutting these weird burrs into it. But super sick. Like if I was gonna ride indies again, I'd only wanna skate these because they just last forever. Really good truck. So this was my first set of the Ace Classics. I love these trucks. Um, first thing that I rode that wasn't a pair of Indies for years, immediately, I love the look of them. Like there's something aesthetically pleasing about that hanger. Um, in terms of how they grind, I found they were like really soft compared to Indies. Um, they'd grind really good, but they wore out super fast. Um, this pair was the first pair I rode of the Ace Classics. I managed to get it pretty far through the axle before the hanger cracked. Um, sort of ground right into the corner there. I feel like because that hanger just is a bit wider or it seems that way, I was able to sort of get like better coverage of grinds on the trucks. Got to the axle, um, doing crooked grinds there as well. Uh, after they cracked, they started to bend a little bit and I had to call it. I got another pair of the Ace Classics immediately afterwards and I was pretty disappointed in them, this green pair here. So skated those for a little while, jumped down a couple of sets of stairs. Like I said, I'm a big guy and uh, the axles bent like really bad pretty early on. Um, I kind of had to call it because the wheels were starting to cone over. Then I got myself these new Ace AF1s. Also a great truck, all of the advantages of Aces. I think the hanger looks a little bit different. Maybe they've reinforced it more so that it doesn't bend, which like doesn't look as cool, but I think it's a little more functional. Admittedly, I didn't wear these out as much before I got another set of trucks. Like these things are still good. Probably gonna hang on to them. Uh, one of the things that I really didn't like was that uh, it's probably my fault, but I went and bought the 55s of the Ace AF1s uh, because I rode 55 Ace Classics. Turns out they changed their whole sizing scheme when they brought out the AF1. So I actually got a truck that was way more narrow than what I'm used to riding. Um, I feel like that might've got a few people. Um, I got used to it, I always do when I change my gear up, but just something to be mindful of. So this is what I'm skating at the moment. They're the Thieve TI hangers. So the whole hanger is made of titanium instead of just the axle. These things are wild. They've got no axle, so like they're kind of hollow, but they feel strong as fuck and they grind really weird. They're like the titanium axle indies in that they sort of catch on things a little bit and they spark a lot. Um, I'm gonna skate these things for as long as they'll last. I'm really curious to see if I can wear a hole in them and they'll still be structurally sound without bending. Time will tell, I'll check in. I'm also gonna make another video on the Lurpiv trucks eventually if people wanna see it. If they don't, whatever. Don't like, don't subscribe, YouTube's dumb.